hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima today i'm going to let you guys know how to know that you have crammed a topic and how you will know that you do not understand that topic at all if that's what you're here for let's get started for me and what i use for myself there are four main ways in which i am able to test myself and know that ah this topic i actually crammed it and i don't understand it at all so the first way i know if i'm being called upon to teach that topic and i cannot teach it i find myself fumbling with the words and getting stuck somewhere i just know that i crammed it as far as you cannot teach it as far as you cannot make another person who don't understand that topic to understand it my dear if you think you know it that's not true one more thing is if i cannot say it in my own words i definitely crammed it if you study something and you think you know it and then you try to say it in your own words try to say it in the word other than how your lecturer put it in that study other than how you saw it on that website on that in that textbook and you cannot paraphrase it you cannot change the words you cannot use your own words to explain it then ah sorry you crammed it another way i know that i crammed something and i didn't understand it is when i find out that i can memorize the words exactly how it is on, in the slide or in the material on the textbook but yet i don't understand the general concept if somebody asks me now this topic what is it all about general just say give me one sentence or two sentences about what the topic is all about generally i will end up fumbling that's one way i know i crammed it and i don't understand the topic if you cannot give someone a summary of what that topic is all about using two three four five sentences then you can't it you should be able to know a general overview of that topic you should be able to know what that topic is all about generally because when you understand the big picture you will now be able to understand little bits and pieces of it and one last way i'm able to know that i crammed the topic is when i see questions that are twisted but i can't answer it if you understand the topic very well no matter how they twist the questions you will still be able to answer it because you understand that topic if you don't understand that topic my dear any little twist if they don't bring it out of the material word for word you will not be able to answer it so one very good way for you to know that you can that topic and you don't understand it is that when they twist the question in fact you will be lost so you will not even know what topic that question is from you won't even know what the question is all about you will not understand the question you will not even know the a from the z you will not even know where to start from there are so many other ways in which you can know if, if you understood the topic or if you just crammed it but these are the four main ways that i use for myself so if you can pick out something from it by all means please do if it helps you by next week i'm going to tell you how to study without cramming this one you will make a conscious effort this is my game changer how i was able to condition my brain condition my mind to study without cramming with all this if there's anything i've forgotten to add while editing i'll add it i mean your girl Jimima. see you next week